Welcome to Squatch D TV. Exploring the Bigfoot mystery each week with your hosts, veteran researcher, author, and TV personality, the Squatch Detective, Steve Culls, and from the Bigfoot Research Project of Kentucky, Chris Bennett. Sit back and buckle up as we bring you guests from around North America discussing the Bigfoot phenomena, but not without a few laughs, too. Here are your hosts, Steve and Chris. And good evening, cyberspace. Welcome to Squatch DTV for today's date, January 15th, 2023. I'm your host, your guide, the Squatch Stick of Steve Coles, along with the man with the plan down there, Mr. Chris Bennett. Hello, Chris. Hey, man, it's good to see you. I hope good. you guys have warmed up some. We've had some nice weather here lately. Nope. Uh-uh. Nope, still cold. 14 degrees tonight. That's what it's oh, going to Yeah, oh, man. I think it was 51 today, and I don't know what it is now, but it's probably pretty chilly outside. It's not no 14. Right now, <laughs> it's a balmy 19. Oh, um, man. <laughs> yep. So, uh, well, we got a lot to cover tonight. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, we, we've been working hard on this network. As you know, for folks that don't know, we uh, the show has an official page now. It's SquatchDetective.tv, so you can go over there to check that out. Uh, it's got all the videos, nice format, works great on mobile phones and stuff like that. Um, it also has an email list. So if you're not getting your YouTube subscriptions, you don't like ringing that notification bell, you can always go over there and sign up and it'll drop an email every time we drop a new video on the channel. So give it a check out. We got some real good stuff coming out this week, uh, including, a a, a, a a update on an expose we did a couple of years ago. And uh, you guys are going to find that most interesting. That'll probably be dropping Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, of course, tomorrow, I b- believe there's probably going to be another Bigfoot laugh track. So uh, you never know. Uh, anyway, let's do the roll call real quick uh, in the chat tonight. First in is Mike O'Donnell, who came in a little early, didn't realize that the broadcast was a little bit later. Oh. So uh, Mike, mm-hmm. hopefully Michael is out there. Welcome, Mike. Am and Chris, he's out there for his words in the chat yes. room. He said was Joan. Uh, uh, let's see who else. Low Rider. Hello, sir. Low Rider. Uh, Mark, the tall ones. Brent, hey, Mark. how are you? You're doing great work Brent. out there. Keep up the fight. Good fight. Uh, Grasshopper is in Grasshopper. there. Eyes in the woods. Sandra Piper. Yes. Uh, do, 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 do. Uncle Bones, too. Hello, Uncle Bones. Uncle Bones. Steve, Curious Cryptid is in the house. Hey, Steve. Good to see you, man. Uh-oh, the miss is in the house, so now i got to behave myself. That's sure. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You know, also, the, the missus is in the house. Yeah, better behave. Yeah, I bet i got to <laughs> behave myself. You know. uh, the Nona Bass Continuum in the house. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. To the show. Good to see you. Yeah. Uh, Diane Trick. Diane, how are you? Former everything is in the house. Uh, Mike from Tactical Bigfoot Research. And hey, hi, John, John Iyer is in the house. Jen Sharky. Hey, Sharky. It's That's been yeah. a while. Sharky. Um, Joe Dryden. High five chaser. Joe. High five. How can we forget Daniel Weeks? Daniel, you're, you're, Far commenting, out commenting everybody else, and we appreciate that because that helps the <laughs> algorithm. Helton, uh, aka Faster Man, is also in the house. Faster Man, good to see you. Charlie Wonton, of course, is in the house. Hey, Charlie, <laughs> uh, Jay good Fritz, you, good to see you, Jay. Jay. Uh, Don Fuller, of course, Don's in the in the house as well. Welcome, Don. Good to see you, bud. Okay, guess who's in? Leon's in the house. Bigfoot Okanagan. Hi, Leon. Good to see you, man. Lance Windsor. Hi, Lance. Pete H. is in the house. Hey, Pete. Lou Pete. Welcome, welcome. And Tay is also in the house. Hello, Tay. Hi, Tay. Welcome, welcome. So for those, again, while we're thinking about it, it would really help us if you do it right now. Smash that like button. Help us with that algorithm. And, uh, you know, after the show, leave a comment. Tell us what you think. And if yeah. you haven't subscribed to the channel, 
you know, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell if you want notifications of all our new content because we're putting out tons of content now. Uh, try to do, uh, you know, the Bigfoot laugh tracks where we do some parody, uh, yeah. Squatch stories where we tell some some authentic stories of Sasquatch. Um, of course, our analysis in the Squatch DTV podcast. So here we are. Oh, Arthur Watt, Watt is in the house, Watch is in the house as well. Hello, Arthur. Arthur. Um, so anyway, let's get to this. Um, let me hide that. Um, so anyway, on right now, we have uh, Jay and Maddie Bachojan. Hi, guys. Hey, how you doing? So I bet you the See? weather's a little colder there, too. And that, it wasn't bad today, was it? Nope. Well, what, you, didn't you go for a walk? Yes, I did. All right, it was like 40-something. 40, 40 yeah. It's balmy. Well, that means it's coming my way eventually. That's right. Look on the bright side. <laughs> what you guys get, I get like a week later. So exactly. that's good, good news. Good news. <laughs> so anyway, um, you know, you guys had uh I gotta switch over here real quick. So you guys had really a uh an interesting outing. About how long ago was that? A week ago. Yeah, well, a week we, and a day. yeah, a week and a day it was uh we could go Saturday gotcha. at about at about eight twenty AM. If I'm going to remember the time exactly. <laughs> so uh, we, we let's uh, Jay, if you just want to do the real cliff note on what you guys were doing and just a real quick cliff note, a few minutes, and then we'll get to the, we'll get to Maddie's interview uh, video. Yeah. Um, so as you all know, or if you don't know, I've been researching the kettle Moraine for the uh, past 10 years. I have two documentaries out there on Amazon prime and paranormal flicks as of this weekend. Um, and basically what we do, this is kind of the long story because you know me, I just keep talking and talking until you tell me to shut up. <laughs> Matt, Matty, um, you can, you can elbow him if he gets out of hand. Yeah, if, you, if you see that, you'll, you'll see my arm go up. Stop. <laughs> You're talking too much. Um, so I, I go out in the kettle all the time with a lot of different people. And I also include my family and Maddie's been out with me several times over the past couple of years. And uh, she loves the mornings. She's, I love the mornings. you know what? I, I I work Monday through Friday and, and Saturday. I like to kind of recharge. And she's like, Dad, do you want to go out this this Saturday? We'll get up at four a.m. And I'm like, uh, but you know what? You know I love it and and I do it. So a week ago, that's what we did. We left here around four thirty. Got up to the Kettle Moraine. It was uh, me, Maddie, uh, my nephew Ben, and uh, we just go out there and kind of set up camp. And, uh, you know, camp is what I mean is some camping chairs and some yeah. coffee and some good, good times. Um, and pretty much the morning was super quiet, if I, if I remember. And we walked out and uh, from our base camp. And that's when Maddie saw something. Now, this is not the first time. This is the second time. Almost the same area, but a little bit different. I'll let her explain all that. But as she was seeing something, I'm telling her, don't take your eyes off of it. Put your, pick up your, I, I, I put my phone on film, the iPhone on uh, recorded video. And so she's still staring at it. I'm handing it to her. Don't take your eyes off of it. So she's telling me she's seeing it. <clears throat> I don't see what she's looking at. And basically I walk ahead of her, go to the left just a little bit. And that's when I saw... You know, I hate to use the term predator uh, because I've heard it so many times. I've never seen that effect, but I saw it a week ago, Saturday. Yeah, this is, this is yeah, this is not your, this is kind of a bizarre encounter, but there is yeah. something to this. I mean, it's not only you and Manny, but there was also ben. Uh, ben as well. Um, yeah, and Ben. No, no, Ben didn't want to join. He's kind of on the... Um, let's, he's very let's conservative. Yep, he's very, very conservative. conservative about it because he didn't jump up and say he saw something right off the bat. Um, he did see something even before I did, and when I saw it, so here we're all talking about it, and finally he had to kind of confess that's what I saw. Okay, I want to make sure I wasn't crazy, but that's what I saw. And uh, <laughs> thank you. And. Uh, <laughs> And pretty much those are the cliff notes. There's a lot more to it. Like I said, is uh, whenever I'm out in the woods and we have anything, Ma Maddie knows actually since since birth. This is my wide-eyed wonder girl, my eldest daughter, love wow. her. 
And um, and so I've been, I, I document everything, not just in the kettle, but in life. So mm -hmm. she's used to a camera. In fact, there's some stuff that I didn't send you that she's holding her hand up in front of the, you know, <laughs> that I don't, I don't, I don't want to be interviewed right now. And uh, yeah. So let's and, let's get to the interview because we got to talk to yep. Maddie because she's got to get out of there in a little bit. So, um, she, she Maddie is on a schedule, so we got to stick try to try to stick. Yeah, my, my my granddaughter has a uh, school tomorrow morning, and you know, you got to got to keep it real for the little ones. Completely yep. understandable. That's right. All right, so we're gonna uh, this uh, video of her interview picks up when Jay. Uh, if it's the first one that I showed you, it's yeah. right when she saw it, when we kind of broke free from the base camp, uh, just to explore outside of base camp. Nope. This is the one right after that, where you're actually interviewing her. Oh, when I was interviewing her. You're right. Yep. Okay. We're going to show the interviews first in the video later. Oh, gotcha. Yep. Um, well, that would have been, uh, if it's the one that I was recording her on, that was, she looked kind of annoyed at you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did she? That's the one where we walk up from where we saw it on the hill, and then we walk down. And I'm I'm trying to get get answers out of Maddie. Again, not for another documentary, just for myself to go back and look at it. And I'm saying, she's like, I saw something. I'm like, is it a shape? I go, oh, what yeah. did I say? Was it a balloon? A chicken? Give yeah. me something. And I'm, I'm trying, to, and I try to do this right when it happens. So it's fresh in their memory. Yep. So that, that's when I was interviewing her on, on that. All right. Let's get to this interview. Here we are. It's uh, not a quick one. It's about 40 seconds worth of video. So this, uh, this podcast is really going to be great uh, for those that are listening on iHeartRadio, Audible, all those fun places, Spotify. Um, you're going to want to come over and see the video uh, because at some point we're going to show the video that Mandy took because she was looking at it and said, oop, there we are. So here we go with the interview. Okay, I just glanced and I thought I saw something jump from tree to tree. Well, like well, it was what? light and black. But okay, but big, small, big. How big? Like um, human big. Like it was not on the ground; it was in the tree line. All right, well, go. And I just scanned and I saw. Let's go walk. I would describe it as like a charcoal black, but with gray, and then um, bulky, like. Like big shoulders. I want to say chicken? I can almost compare it to a, a big black gorilla. Almost. Really? Yeah. Like a, that's what it almost reminded me. There you go. There, there's a little snippet. She's so Ma uh oh, Ma Maddie's up. <laughs> I'm up. You're up. So, all right. T t tell us about it. Okay. Um. So. It was when we were up on the hill and I would call it a valley. That's what I call it. Um, and that's when we were coming up to the hill and I was just scanning right to left. And it was like, um, just like a quick glance. And it was, it reminded me of like a gorilla, but it was like outlined in black, but it had like the gray white color and it was in the middle of the trees and it was up high up in the trees um and you can see the contrast because i remember like i can close my eyes and see it um and it was like a still shot but it was in the middle of the trees and it was like right in the middle um and Definitely wasn't supposed to be there. It was not normal. Um, and it caught my attention right away. Um, and it was again, just a one second, a one second thing. Um, and then it went away. Um, and then I told my dad right away and I'm just like, I want to go down there and I want to go look. And, and I'm like, damn it. I missed it again. <laughs> I'm never looking in the right spot. But it was like, it was but, I, but I, but but I believed her. It was like a blink of an eye because I was just rotating my body, and it was just it was right there, 
and you know trees up you know were green and it was just you could totally see it and it was outlined in black and like I said it reminded me of like a gorilla because it was like a profile like you can see like the the head and the shoulder and it was bulky um and it was just so quick and then it was just gone yeah they don't they don't like sticking around too much <laughs> no yeah and that's like the best I can describe it and I just I wanted to go down there and check it out right away. And, and, and for those who are wondering, this is in the state of Wisconsin in the Kettle Moraine section area of the state. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it, it's kind of funny. Maddie calls it a valley. Chris calls it a holler and you call it a kettle. Yep. <laughs> I, I, I'm very I'm very confused. <laughs> well, you know, you got the kettles, the moraines, the moraines are more of a meadowy type top. The kettles are more of the deep impression, you know, yep. so. I just feel like it's a valley. Though. So it, it's it's a valley <laughs> kettle type thing. It's a hill. A hill down the hill. That's cool. So <laughs> let me let me ask you this: um, When you started filming it, um, obviously a little bit later you you start to film it, mm -hmm. and now at that point it appears to be more on the ground than anything else, or at least it looks like it's on the ground. And you get it from roughly about the, the, the bridge of the nose upward. Yes. Um, how'd that make you feel? It, it excited me because, you know, I was just looking and I just saw it right away. And it was, it was exciting to see that because, you know, you don't see it all the time and, you know, it's, it's, but, but I've also heard a lot of people saying that some encounters they've had, they see it, they take their eyes off of it to capture it with a camera, and they look up and it's gone. Yes. Yep. So I, I realized that. So I kept telling her while I'm getting the phone out and getting the video setting, don't take your eye off of it. And Perfect. she didn't. And I lifted up the the video it, i said put your hand here don't take your eye off of it yes so she's just looking at it and then bringing up the phone so that's what she was doing then yeah and i saw jay yeah now at any time did you feel scared or threatened or anything like that no i i wanted to go keep walking straight and go find it <laughs> like i wanted to keep walking i did not want to take my eyes off of it yeah I but pop papa bear was yelling at you yeah stay there uh, don't move yeah. Uh. yeah just to keep my eye on it because when we saw the when i saw the movement and then i kept looking it stopped moving and it blended it blended into the like you know it just stood still and it blended like it yeah, I mean, the whole clip that I'm listening to her recording is a few times she's like, sorry, Dad, if this is a little shaky. She would say that a little bit. But then she'd be like, didn't you say, did it blink? And that, that I was asking her, I said, did you see it blink on, on film when you're looking or when you're looking at it? When I was looking at it with my eyes. Okay. Now, Jay. Yeah. Okay. For Christmas next year, Yes. You got to ask somebody to get you a gimbal. Yeah. <laughs> no. I, okay. No, I do have one. Uh, <laughs> but I, 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 I like, don't see from I don't see Matt from Central Florida Bigfoot who would be yelling at you right now for not using it. Yeah. Well, I, I use that for for filming weddings, but not out in there. No, but uh, I I do have it. But at the same time, I like to be hands free. When I go out there, I like to have it at, you know, hands reach, but I always feel like I have so much technology on me that I'm just focusing yep. on sound and cameras and, and yep. everything. And I'm not looking at the woods. So therefore, I, if I'm done with the phone, I'll put it down. Now I do have um, a body cam rolling all the time, but the body cam footage is not as good as the iPhone shooting from that distance. Sure. But I do have it on there. So. You know, I, I would I would keep that for finding J3. Yeah. Shh, my wife's listening. <laughs> like, oh, not another one. Yeah. Because there goes all your time. I, I, I can't. I, and I got to yeah. admit, you know, what an investment it takes. And it, it's great to have that family support. And it's great that, you know, Maddie and you go out and, 
you know, chum goes out, every, you know, it's really yeah. a, a good family affair. Yeah. She's ready to go out again. She wanted to go out this weekend, but besides yeah. having uh, like 19 age boys overnight with Blake's uh, birthday, you know, man, I didn't get any sleep. Oh, but it was good. Now, now I, I, another question for Maddie, how many times did that play over in your mind over the last week? Every day every day because I can close my eyes and I can see it. I can see it. So it's very vivid and clear still that that is what I saw. And uh, if there's any, Chris, if you have any questions, if there's any questions in the chat, put them in caps and we'll get to them. Um, well, I just wanted to ask Maddie, uh, did, did you have a little internal struggle uh while you were looking at this creature, uh, because you know that this has happened to me before, I was looking at one. And I'm thinking, I'm seeing something here that's not supposed to be there. Uh, that's not supposed to exist. Uh, you know, did you feel like maybe your eyes were playing tricks on you or something? Or no, I did not. I had confidence that. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's what I saw because I right. could clear as day see it. Um, I did not second guess myself at all. Yeah. Like even when the video, like you know, we replay the video. Um, right. But I like right when it plays, I can just see it. It's just it's right there. It's right there. You can see it. <laughs> so I have no second guessing or struggle. Yeah. Okay, we got two questions in the chat. And uh, the first one comes from Mike from Tactical Bigfoot Research. And he sent me a picture of uh, him watching the uh, podcast on his uh, mm -hmm. giant screen TV. And it looks awesome. So it's good to know. <laughs> um, so anyway, were there? did you see any orbs beforehand? Three. I, I know you've been seeing. I, I was going to say, let me jump into that. That's the one thing I really didn't mention when it was still dark before we broke base camp. Um, in, in what I call them are sprites or, or twinkly lights, uh, blips, not, I mean, I have seen orbs out there that I've recorded and seen them kind of big. These are like little, uh, I call them Tinkerbell lights. They just kind of flash on, flash off. The fun, uh, the funny thing is I saw one behind Ben's head while he was talking to me. Um, and then I saw one over my left shoulder, which is the direction we were heading before she saw this and then Ben saw one that was kind of like behind us where we were sitting yes uh going over the kettle holler hill mm -hmm. valley or whatever <laughs> I was just adding that on but we did see three lights and, and I do make note of that I know I'll know it's, it's so hard to capture those but we all saw them right you know and then there's nothing out there that would cause a reflection and a question from the Nona Bass Continuum. Did you, tr uh, Maddie, did you try sketching it? Yes, I did. I drew it. I, yep, I, I knew that answer. But I didn't want to give the whole show away because I want, yeah. to, I, want, I want people to go to your channel and watch the complete video, which it, it's about a 21-minute video. Uh, go over to Jay's channel. It's, he's very easy to find. Just type in Jay Bachochin, and that will pop up his YouTube channel. Don't do it during the podcast. No. Yeah, do it after. It'll be up there. Don't worry. <laughs> you might miss something if you leave. That's right. Yeah. But it is. And we do um, we do make mention in that 21-minute video. It's kind of a short mini documentary, if you will, of about a four-hour stretch is all it is. Us waking up, us driving there, listening to a little Hall & Oates. Um getting to our spot and and that's pretty much it and then just kind of walking and exploring and that, that's all we do i never whenever i tell maddie or anybody that when we're going out there is you know i'm not saying this is the day we're gonna capture um it, it's it's going out and hiking and enjoying nature and uh blue ridge bigfoot well welcome to the uh show blue ridge bigfoot welcome 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 if you have so, yeah. guys please do uh, we're, we're, you know, we're, we're glad to have you here and question. Do you have any theories on the orbs? Me personally? Yep. How, how would you want no, to No, it? the, uh, the, uh, the ghost standing behind you. Oh, 
That's all, Maddie. Maddie, mm. Maddie, what do you think the orbs are? What's your theory? Communication. I think it's communication because I think. <coughs> Hold on, I'm gonna choke. <laughs> She's saying that it's communication. <coughs> well, yeah, it's communication, and then. Um, well, I don't want to get off topic with the orbs, but I just think it's communication. Right. I'll add on to the other part of it. Yeah. <clears throat> Up oh, here comes another question from uh, our good friend Daniel Weeks. Uh, did you see the creature turn or, or, or and go, or was it just gone as you were looking at it? It was just gone as I was looking at it because I was rotating and you know scanning. It was there, and then I blinked, and then it was gone. Are you talking about the jumping one or the one? Oh yeah, the jumping one, right? The That's the one we're on. Yeah, yeah. We're on the jump. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm sorry. I, 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 I've got all this playing in my head. Are you saying the one that jumped uh, was that question about did you see it leave or turn as it jumped? <clears throat> I, I think Daniel's wanting to know about the one that was just a few seconds. And then yeah. uh, the few seconds. The other one we, we've not really shown yet. Okay, yeah. That's <laughs> uh, the tree one, um, it was definitely just there and gone. It was like a still shot, and then it was just there and gone. Oh, and Helton said he just took a picture, uh, posted a picture of all the notes I took at Facebook this morning. <laughs> and uh, you're Jay, out it's, of it's touch. Kinda, I'm out of time. <laughs> it's kind of hard for me to tell from the video, but can you give an estimation, or do you have an estimation of the approximate distance uh, between uh, the camera and the subject? being filmed for you know uh the one the uh the one that she saw jumping from the no tree? no no the the longer video the <laughs> long one because that was about um i'm gonna say at my best guesstimation 35 40 yards from where we saw okay yeah uh, where that was to the tree with the trees where she saw it go from tree to tree we walked right. up to those trees and then we're probably looking at about 25 yards maybe yeah yeah 25 yards from where we were standing at that point looking down at the the longer filming that we did i was just by, by guesstimating by looking at the video i'm guessing 80 to 100 feet away something oh like that. patience pete patience he's like let's see it <laughs> sure. patience we got a couple of more interviews to go through um and uh i noticed bluebirds uh Bigfoot wrote, uh, well, that was actually meant for the chat. But you know what? I thought it was a great question. I wanted to put it to our guests. So, I guess if you're far enough away, you wouldn't necessarily feel threatened. But did you guys feel threatened or anything at any time? No. 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 I mean, I, I, well, I, see, I, that's a nice thing. Yeah. Because it was a nice, you know, a distance away, you have a little uh, opportunity there. If something was to happen and it can't turn towards you or came after you, well, you've got several seconds there to do something about it, you know. I also had the thought that um, the one that I saw in the tree line, mm -hmm. I I had a thought that that was them leading us that way. Because if I wouldn't have seen what I saw in the trees, right. we wouldn't have seen. We wouldn't have seen the, 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 the second thing that we filmed. Yes. Oh. So, and, th and that's very true because we weren't heading that direction until she saw it, but you know, like, like the we wouldn't have went down there. Right. The sleuth I am is you just saw it. Well, let's walk down there and check it out. Yeah. So we did it. We did walk to that yes, area. I wanted to go down there and look. So we have one more question for Maddie and I know Maddie's got to run. Got to, got to put the crank, got to put the kids to bed for school. So we get that. <laughs> so uh, this one's from Karen S. How many sightings, Maddie, how many sightings have you had? And welcome Karen S. <clears throat> all together yep uh let's see so one two three let's say three yeah yes three because two of them were in my second documentary mm -hmm. yep. oh no i'm sorry one of them was one we really never discussed yeah you want to say you want to was... say that this was last year yeah, because that was the one that I saw with that blending in with the tree, right? Yeah, talk to them then. Okay. 
Well, <laughs> sorry. Uh, last year. I love you, man. man. Um, last year. And sit up straight. Sorry. Uh, last year. <laughs> just, Wait, joking. we don't we don't take off for posture here, Papa. <laughs> yeah, I'm joking. Okay. Um, last year it was actually same spot, like where yep. we had camp, and we were walking out of camp, and it was when I was scanning again, and it was a blink of an eye again. And it was like um, a silhouette. You, I could see the head and the shoulders, and it was like blended in with the tree. Um, and then again, that was a blink of an eye situation where I was scanning, saw it, blinked, gone. So, and that was in the same area. Yeah. Hey, and, it's good to see my friend Wade Wood out there. Hello, Wade. Long time no talk. We got to talk soon. Sometime. And just to let you know, she and I, I've been telling her. If you see something, tell me. Mm -hmm. And she didn't tell me about this until we left and we were at the gas station. And all of a sudden she's like, yeah, I saw this like shape in front of a tree. But it was probably just the, you know, uh, my eyes or whatever. And we did go back out there. And what she saw in that area was not there. So, again, this is the same area. People ask me, Jay, do you go out looking everywhere for these? And I'm like, no. I stay in a certain area because I don't have my answers. Period. I'll stay here for another, you know, however long. And right. Now, oh, sorry. I was no, going to add, I don't know if you would count it as a sighting, but we had that one experience when me, Brad, and you, and Karen yeah. went out. But that was just an experience. That wasn't a sighting. And that was in the documentary. But yeah, true. Yeah. true. Okay. <laughs> no, but no, but it's, it's, pretty, it's, yeah. it's pretty cool because... Um, and again, you can watch the documentary to see the whole thing, but you know, I do the leapfrog and I was, you know, 200 yards ahead at this point. And then she's calling me back. Second I get there to relax, she's like, dad, can you come back? And I come back and her eyes are like, you know, yeah. so, so it, it was, she had pretty much a, a pretty terrifying encounter that. Yeah. That one was a little frightening for sure. Well, I, I gotta say. I, it's, you know, it's always refreshing to see people that question themselves because we, that, that generally tells you that you feel you've had a legitimate encounter and you're not, you know, people don't be us, us that question themselves. You know, it's the people that, you know, that, well, I had the sighting of five Bigfoots and, and then you, you know, but you, you're like, I, you know, I didn't want to say nothing, but you know, I, I thought, you know, yeah, you know, I saw it. But anyway, you got a skedaddle, Maddie. So I want to thank you for coming on tonight, and uh, we'll. Oop, that's the wrong button. We didn't want to hit. <laughs> the only thing I don't like about my soundboard is you can't label the buttons, so you yeah, right. don't remember where you put don't, them. Don't push the flush button while Maddie's leaving. Man. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That's better. All right. All right. Thank you, Maddie. No problem. Thank you. And uh, by, by the way, before you go, uh, uh, Steve, uh, the cur- uh, Curious Cryptid, Steve said these guests seem to be good observers and willing to record what they actually see. This is terribly refreshing. Oh, so, well, so. thank you. Yep. Good job. You're good welcome. job, man. Thank you. You got to see them more often. Yep. <laughs> Except she sees them. I'm the other day I'm there. We'll give her one more round of applause there. Oh, here, here comes Jay now. Hey. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and, of course, everybody's uh, saying thank you, Maddie. Bye, Maddie. Uh, yeah. Yeah, everybody enjoyed her. So that, that was Great awesome. job. So let's get to Ben. Um, yeah. And, uh, you know, I want to thank the audience. They have been great tonight. You know, once in a while, you know, it's very tough sometimes for witnesses to come on because people will, you know, throw stuff out. And, you know, that's sometimes rude, but we, we're, you know, we're monitoring. I, I know Chris is monitoring, too, that mm-hmm. in case there's a troll that pops in. But uh, I want to thank, of course, the audience. Now, Ben, let's we'll, we'll get to let's talk about Ben a second. You, you know, we said he's very reserved, kind of a conservative type of person, doesn't yeah. really uh, not really a big believer, is he? Well, I believe he would be, but I, I think there's that, you know, you want to believe, but you also have to see it to believe it, maybe even touch it to know that it's real. And I think that's kind of where 
I think he would be. I can't speak for him. Um, I can tell you, you know, how he'd be open enough to go out hiking and stuff. So, you know, if he believes that, you know, there's ghosts or UFOs or, or whatever, um, why not a, a Bigfoot or a Dogman or, or anything like that? But, yeah, so he's a little more reserved about, okay, I saw that. You know, like, and that's how he would be. If we saw it, you know, he would say that. And, so. and I can see in this video that we're going to watch, and actually uh, Ben's is the longest out of the three clips that I put on there. Um, not necessarily on your video, but uh, what I appreciate about Ben is that you can tell he's struggling to mm -hmm. admit he saw something, mm -hmm. um, which I, you know, which is like, <sighs> You know, you know, which I, I find really refreshing too. And yeah. we, we see witnesses like that a lot of times. Right. So let's let's get to his interview, and we'll talk a little bit more about it and your your feelings about it afterwards. So here we okay. go. Okay, so <clears throat> when we were walking down here for a while, Maddie was saying she saw something. Um, I didn't see. I didn't know what she was talking about. And then we're standing on the trail for a while. I break off to the left. And uh, I saw something move. It wasn't fur, um, <clears throat> but uh, it was like translucent. And I didn't say anything to them because like I didn't want right. to create an imagination effect to where everyone's seeing something. So I waited and just heard what they kept talking about. Waited about 10 minutes. I was just waiting to see if <clears throat> something else happened. And then, uh, and I just don't want to claim to see something without any, you know, right. concrete evidence. So, you know, it, uh, but yeah, I saw shape move. It wasn't human. It wasn't fur. It was just like, uh, I don't know what it was, but it happened. And there you go. <laughs> yeah. He's Very really, healthy skepticism he, there. Yeah. And you can see him trying to come to grips with it as well. Yep. Oh, a hundred percent. And, you know, sometimes he doesn't even like me. He knows I document and he's been out with me several times, but there, there, there's Uncle Jay, you know, now I'm pulling out the phone again and I'm like, just tell me what you saw. I need to document this. I, <coughs> I, won't, I won't put this on YouTube. Oops, sorry, Steve. Well, um, to me, um, it's very refreshing. Ben is standing there and he's having a difficult time, uh, but you could tell he, he has actually seen something that he does not understand. Right? And yeah. he's not certain exactly what he was. And I think that's one of the healthiest skeptical fellows I've ever seen right there. <laughs> he's now, uh, now there's yeah. some, some things in chat that I want to, I want to talk about. Um, uh, first one is from Blue Ridge. I don't I think or is communication, but transportation. Okay. Uh, Wait, what did that say? I think they're transportation. Nice. Right. I, I, um, but um, I don't know. They're, let's, let's put it to, me, to you this way. Everybody had a fleeting glimpse, and it's through the trees. So did it really go invisible, or is it behind a tree? And obviously, later on, you film it, and it's kind of in between a couple of trees. So did it really go invisible? Are the orbs something separate? Don't know, and we, we still don't. Yeah. We still haven't connected any of those dots. Yeah, right. So I think that you know, um, uh, like Daniel says, uh, Daniel Weeks uh, over in chat said uh, interdimensional travel is a tough handle hurdle for me. But as I was questioning Maddie, it, it, just just like many others, looking right at it, it's just gone. But you got to understand too, and that's what we were talking about, is that she said she blinked her eyes. So and when she blinked her eyes, it was gone. That's all again, it takes. Right. And then again, there is that synapse in the brain, that lag for a second or two, because it's not in your catalog of what am I looking at. So that causes the brain to kind of filter out and lose some of the the um, the, the narrative, I should say, or the film yeah. of it in your brain. So um, so you know, you know. Is is would this be paranormal? I don't think so. Is it bizarre? Absolutely. But we've talked a lot of times on the show the effects of you know what people um, 
go through when they see something right. that they're not expecting to. Yeah. I don't know. What are your thoughts, Jay? Well, we didn't get up to my interview yet or what I saw, but I, I guess that's what you were saying is hundred percent right. And believe me, I'm, I'm not a, a scientist or a biologist to understand exactly what we're looking at. Chris, remember before the show kind of, we were talking a little bit about, um, you know, the hair color or how it could blend in or whatnot. Right. Um, because I, I agree on one hand that it leaves footprints and I have found those. So it's got to be physical. It's got, it's got to be there. Um, but how it disappears in a, in a blink of an eye, I keep thinking what natural animal of that size could move that fast. Now, I, I, we were having a discussion about that too. And again, I don't know. So when I raise that question, I'm not telling you that's what it is. I'm just saying, this is what's going on here. You know, sure. the whole, ev you know, evolving learning. I'm not the same person I was when I first started doing this 10 years ago to where I am now because people brought it up when I first started doing this Jay what if Bigfoot's like a, a ghost of a banshee out in the woods and I'm like get out of here it's it's a flesh and blood primate we haven't caught up with yet um but experience all these different things out there well I, I, get, I guess sometimes I go with why do people just go into an old abandoned house or whatever to find a ghost because that's the only place ghosts go they don't Go in new developments, right? Only the yeah. old houses um, and anything and, out in the woods. And I, I tend to agree with Am and Chris, though. I think a ghost is more believable than an ape that can shift dimensions, or a, you know, a primate that can shift dimensions. Well, but but then I, then I think then I, then I go to the other extreme and say everything out in the woods, even if it's bizarre, does it make it a Bigfoot just because it's right out in the woods, right? right? Um, so there could be uh, many different things going on and i'd be the first person to tell you i have no idea what i saw um and whenever you play that interview i can explain more of it but, um you know then you're talking about the interdimensional okay um and you're starting to you know then we start thinking about these orbs and oh i see a fight brewing in the house tonight uh oh <laughs> Why can't it cloak into its surroundings? Yeah, why not? You're right on, Sherry. <coughs> but let's just say, again, these are my theories that go on inside my head because right. of maybe See, because of what right. I believe. Right? And what I what I have a tough time with, Jay, is it, not you. It, it, what I have a tough time is the this, you know, and I understand people say, oh, I, you know, I think they're interdimensional. I think that. I think that there is several different phenomena in some areas that go on all the time. You find that right mixture um, and you have all this behavior going on. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm not one to subscribe to science fiction. And to me, when we think about this interdimensional thing, we're completely off the map and we're, we have no evidence to say that other than what some people have said, which can be explained by, you know, possible infrasound, which is very scientific, but that can be explained by, by, you know, the uh, post-traumatic brain uh, mind regression that can occur. Um, you know, I've seen an elk cross the road. Now an elk is a huge, a bull elk, huge creature. And again, it went into the forest and as you drive by, you can't see it just like a deer. Mm -hmm. They're gone blink. They did not go into another dimension. You know, you see, you know, any, all these creatures are blended and camouflaged for their surroundings. Mm -hmm. And that I, that I find, uh, you know, interesting, but, and, uh, I agree, you know, that, you know, uh, I, I, I agree, Diane, uh, let me, let me rephrase that. Not paranormal, a Bigfoot, but a supernatural Bigfoot right ab above the natural. Um, see, I, no, no. I think paranormal, it's kind of a generic to say outside the normal, what makes a Sasquatch outside the normal that it hasn't been cataloged? I, you know, so, you know, to me, that paranormal, supernatural kind of have the same connotation to me in this discussion, because uh, to me, a Bigfoot is just a creature amongst the ecosystem and it's nothing outside of the normal except 
the fact that we haven't it hasn't reached discovery yet yeah but well, so, you know so pardon me if i i use those words interchangeably at times no and the thing and that's good because i've always said i'm not an outback jack i'm not a biologist uh, i'm just a guy who's observing in the woods yeah. uh, but but it's also you know we were talking about the whole interdimension or or somebody's wife saying why can't it cloak the thing is i go back only because like i said i go back strictly i'm a bible based guy i read i read the bible i take the bible as 100 percent truth a lot of people would say well again jay you're going to question that why are you believing in that well that, it's my faith and i think because i have that i don't know if it's if i'm more open to like sherry said why not but I know that it doesn't answer the science question because there's no way I, I can prove it. So therefore, that's why I just kind of, I, I listen. I, I The only thing I can do is just sit there and observe, you know, listen to, you know, other uh, researchers, uh, people that are more into science that can explain it. That would make me go, yeah, you know what? You're right. Um, you know, you're right about that happening. Therefore, I have to use that with my own uh, research when I go out there, or my own. I don't want to say research, my own understanding. I should say. And and I want I want to say this straight up that that you may not question the Bible, yeah. But you do question this creature and everything around it. So it's not like you're out there being faith based out doing your research. You're being science based when you're doing your research, and you're just coming up with more questions. And well, I notice the more you do this, the more yeah. questions you have. Yeah. I okay, and I that right there, because again, when I was going out there, it was more, you know, uh, doing the sleuth on, you know, uh, the flesh and blood tracks and everything. But all these other things that were happening, I, I, I guess I started putting them together, which I'm not even say that's correct, because like you were saying, uh, you know, at this point, it's like if, if I'm going to use what my truth would be, or I'd say Bible based, right? I would say that through all things, you know, all everything through God is possible. Then that's where I end up saying, well, why couldn't it cloak then? Does that make any sense? You know, I, I understand the rationalization. There. Yeah. Okay. I, I understand. Right, anyway, anyway, my, my rationalization would be no mammal can cloak, no primate can cloak. Why would a Sasquatch, which looks like a primate, and I've can cloak? That's that's my rationalization behind mm -hmm. it. So. You know, right. and that's okay to have these different oh, sure. perspectives Absolutely. Um, and not getting personal about it like some people do. But I wouldn't say that, you know, um, you know, to me, Wunasi is, you know, uh, Zorth and, you know, their mind speaking to me told me that, you know, uh, for example, uh, Zorth had said to uh, the fine doctor there out there on the uh, Oregon coast there that Trump was going to win the election and, Stuff like that. I don't want to get political, but yeah, that, that right. was one of the things that Zorth had predicted that surprise didn't come true. Uh, yeah. So anything Zorth says, I'm betting against now. That's all you got to do. Uh, anyway. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, that's that that's the lunacy. And, you know, people coming out there with recorders and trying to talk to Bigfoot like it understands English. Ah, I, yeah, yeah. Not not buying totally into that just yet. Um, well, you know, there's nothing you you can uh, you know perfectly be fine to have a Christian faith or any other faith, and you can see comparisons of you know hairy beings described in the Bible. You might even try to relate that. Well, could those hairy beings described in the Bible uh, have been what they see, what we we've seen, or what we think is Bigfoot now? Uh, yeah. Nothing, nothing at all wrong with that. No, and I and honestly, yeah. at, at, at the end of the day, I don't have one in my garage that I'm studying. Um, I don't have any other collaboration yeah. of uh, saying yeah. this is what it is. Yeah. Uh, because again, if people, Steve, they know you, they know you, Chris, they don't know who I am. I'm just you know talking out my my butt. Um, but you know, there's a lot of people around in this Wisconsin area that talk to me. And they're asking me the same thing. And it's kind of like, you know, honestly, at the end of the day, I don't know. I, yeah. I'm going to leave it as that um, yeah. because I don't. And sometimes I think I don't know is a, a better answer than that, 
This is what's very it. respectable, Jay. Sure, yeah. sure is. A yeah. lot of people are afraid of those three words. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I don't know. I, I put my I put the pride aside. I just yeah. say what it is. Uh, if if you want to know what it is, I can't tell you. But if you want to know what I think it is, I'm going to give you my opinion. And until I get, you know, until I put this million piece puzzle together, which probably will never be done. Um, I'm just going to keep out uh, hiking and observing. Yep. I mean, it, you know, it, it can all eventually when one comes to study, which I'm sure it will some someday, whether I'm alive or not. But, uh, you know, maybe 2023. Be, uh, yeah, I hope so. Um, December you know, 17th. You know, is it just some, some, some just messed up observations that we're doing? And that's what's causing this. I don't know. There, there's a number, a number of things. But I want to get to your yes. video because yep. I know people are probably chomping at the bit yes, to see what the hell Maddie <laughs> video doing. Yeah, your direction. So here's your interview. Let's get it. And this is what you had said right after. So Maddie saw something, and we walked down here. And as Maddie's still looking at it and trying to film it. Um, before Ben broke away, I was there looking and she's saying it's right there. So I didn't know where she's looking though. I have no idea where she's looking. Uh, only she knows that, where she tried to film. But what I saw was on the left, I, I was remaining still, did not move a muscle. And what I saw, and I hate to use the predator um, cloaking, but I saw, like Ben said, a shape that was there by a tree and then just kind of went to the left of the tree, but nothing else moved. I wasn't moving, we weren't walking, we were standing still. It, it's light enough to where you can see, but whatever it was, was a distortion that just moved away. And that's before I found out what Ben saw and what many. Oh, there you have it. Yeah, tr true facts, true facts. <laughs> and when, it, like I say, you know, and even even uh, Mike even said that too. Is that you're just saying what you saw? You know, you're not trying to make a uh, connections to it. You're you're trying to make connections in your mind, but not with any certainty. You're like, could it be this? Could it be that? Could it be this? Yeah. And I find that refreshing rather than, you know, that. And like I say, the lunacy is those people that say, oh well, they're this and they're that and they're this and and they're so definite about it when in truth they know right. very little about what they're talking about sometimes so when somebody you know you guys are constantly questioning i think that's wonderful yeah we have to i mean you know from and when i said it moved to the left my, that was my dyslexia uh because i'm facing it and it would have went to my right it's left so I'm, gotcha. I'm i'm putting myself in its situation <clears throat> whatever the whatever it was um but Honestly, okay, and I can't tell you what it was, but it was the coolest thing I've ever seen. I mean, I was I was beyond excited seeing this because I the only way I can explain it is if you've seen Harry Potter with a cloak or um Frodo with a cloak. You know, it because we really didn't see an outline like a predator, you know, a, a head, shoulders, arms like that. It was more of a kind of an oval to the ground is the best way I could explain it. I almost wanted to call it like uh, one of the Pac-Man ghosts that chase after Pac-Man, kind of like an oval like that, and then down to the ground. And because I wasn't moving and my eyes were still, and I'm just staring where Maddie is, but I'm staring at the base of a tree. So I'm looking and all of a sudden, it's not like the distortion came up and then left. I think it was always there that I was looking at it. But as soon as my eyes fixated right on that part, it went. And the reason why I said it went behind the tree is because I could tell there was a distortion, um, you know, that looked like it was part of the woods. And then it, as it was going by the tree, it was no longer. So it was almost like if it was, I don't want to say standing, sitting, squatting, whatever, it, whatever it was, it was too... Um, the left of the tree. I want to make sure I'm saying it right. Looking at this, and then and then it just moved away. And I'm like, I saw it. And I've I've got this on audio and everything because I was just like, you know, my part was, 
I may not have been able to capture it on uh, a picture, a video, or anything. But you know what? When it comes down to it, it's just another piece of the puzzle. Uh, you know, like I said, the, the million piece puzzle that's out there that I I felt grateful to have because I got to experience that. Because I've heard people say all the time about the predator look or or whatnot, and this is what it reminded me of because it was a a distortion that moved like the predator, and, right. and so if that's what people are seeing and it's something else, I don't know. But it was really cool to see. Now, but was, you're you're yeah. also talking about something that happened in seconds as well. Oh, a hundred percent, and I agree yeah. with you on that too. It happened. Yeah. It happened within a two second or less time period. It was so quick. But uh, I remember you were asking Maddie, "Can you still see it?" And she she can. And it's like, I can still see what I saw, but I do this whole past week being at work and that you start to question yourself. Did I see that? Absolutely. I have no, I have no, uh, uh, video, no picture. Uh, I have two people that collaborated with you. You have a video of something. Oh yeah. No, I'm saying me of what I saw. Right. You know what I'm saying? Of what, uh, what I was looking at down by the base of the tree. But uh, I'm just saying it, it was it was the coolest thing, and I'm like I said, I kind of felt privileged, if you will, to be able to experience it. But and in know. the daytime, no less. Yes. Oh in yeah. yeah. And uh, you know, like I said, I uh, uh, I remember having that that daytime sighting, uh, fleeting a few seconds. So I don't even really consider it a, a sighting after the two I had. But, uh, you know, it it moved from tree to tree. It was brown, long haired, you know, brownish red, and they're just really quick. And I was with uh, two, three other people. Three of the four of us saw it, and poor Mike was trying to get pictures of it and didn't see it at all. Yeah. Um, It's random shooting. Yeah. Uh, But uh, yeah, I, 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 I totally get, you know, what you're saying there. Okay. So let's. It's about time we get to the video. Now, folks, this isn't the Patterson-Gimlin footage. Let's put that right out there. It's something. Um, I've looked at it. Uh, I, I don't know. It's. Uh, I don't believe it's. It looks like something is there. And the reason why is when I when I kind of enhanced it and put it in black and white, The um, it had a different tone to its background. So that I found very interesting. So let's take a look. Now, the first one is going to be a really quick, quick one. The enhanced one will be in black and white. And we'll run this a couple of times. Maybe we'll talk about it. We'll run it again. And then we'll run the enhanced. And you, you want to look just below center screen while you're, while you're watching. Well, let's let the audience figure it out. Yeah. Here we go. I can't focus. See it? Right there. Keep it on there. Right there, do you see it? Nope, just keep it on there. I'm, do you see the eye though? Yeah, just keep on it. Don't take it off of it. Now that's really tough if you're just looking at that. Yep. But, um, you know, so Jay, you did you walk down there? Yeah, I was already starting to walk <laughs> down there. Um, I remember her saying this. I was probably... To maybe 20 feet to the left of Maddie as she was still filming this. So it was quiet and she's and she's saying all this. And this is when I kind of see mine right around at this point to where I'm like, what am I looking at? Um, but yeah, so I was ahead of Maddie when she was recording it. And I'm, again, she's just looking into the woods. She's holding a phone into the woods. There's a lot of woods to look at. And she's saying, do you see it? And you know, there's so much woods, you know. What I mean? <laughs> so I'm like, uh, you know, and I don't want to just tell anybody right over there. <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing is, I've always said the same thing, almost like what Ben said was, I don't like to add fuel to the fire. I don't want to give anybody a suggestive thought of where it's at. If it's there, do you see it? And I yep. don't, I'm going to say and, I don't. And now I knew this was going to happen. A couple of people, a few people have said, I'm going to need a red circle here. Nope. <laughs> nope. It won't. No. Wait till the enhanced no. version. You'll oh, see it. It's yeah. been zoomed a couple of more times. Yeah. 
And let's just show the enhanced version so people get it. This is a minute long. Here you go. See it? Right there. Just keep it on there. Right there. Do you see it? Nope. Just keep it on there. I'm, do you see the eye though? Yeah. Just keep on it. Don't take it off of it. I'm going to start walking down there. Okay. You can see it. it oh my God. Don't Hold move on. it. Just Hold keep on. it steady. Yeah. Yeah. Good, I mean, good, good, good job, Steve. I don't know if you heard me, but I'm like, holy crap. You, you really, whatever you do over on your end with enhancements and everything, you do bring stuff out because it's like, wow. That's. Yeah. And I'll, I will, uh, I'll send that file to you, by the way. No, so, thank you. Yes, definitely for my, my records. Um, and that's right, uh, Blue Ridge, Bigfoot. And, um, well, when I first started watching the video, I was con concentrating on center screen, and I was seeing this the tree that has the two black dots, and I'm like, I'm I'm staring at that, and I'm thinking, so uh, let, what are they show, talking about? That's let's that's show a tree. the enhance. Let's show the enhancement yeah. one more time. Look center Finally. screen, folks. It's right in the middle. Yeah. Um, in fact, uh, I'm bringing you know, over. I know what you're. Yeah, yeah I, I I know what you were talking about, and uh, you know, I actually picked it out without knowing where it was. Yeah. And they kind of looked at it and went, huh. So I turned it to black and white and you can, you, you do yeah. see what appears to be blinking, but it's, I, I you know, I, I have to admit, I, you know, I kind of like scratching my head about this one. Is this a big foot? Is this something else? Or is it, you know, a, a minute, you know, the, the tree is fooling you. I tend to think it's not, but you know, who am I to say in this particular case? I wasn't there. So here we go. See it? Right there. Just keep it on there. Right there. Do you see it? Nope. Just keep it on there. I'm, do you see the eye, though? Yeah. Just keep on it. Now it's right it there. I'm going to start walking Center down screen. there. Okay. You can see it. Right it oh, my God. Don't Hold on. move it. Just Hold keep on. it steady. So, like I said, folks, it's not the Patterson Gimlin film. It's about this much of a face. Yes, exactly. That is right. that's awesome. Yeah. You should have, you should have heard her. She you were she's muted, but she's watching this, and uh, she's just like it's yeah. there. It is right there. Yeah. You know, suddenly I can see it because you enhanced it. The biggest thing, like I, I said before, was it was Maddie who was seeing it. And filming it so it's really you know what i mean it was her job of, of film you know filming what she saw yes. and what we tried to do don't you have to get out of here yeah all right bye. yeah <laughs> yeah i'll stick around oh you want to stick around later yeah I right. she wanted to stick around she was too excited about what was going on here <laughs> so you know the, the the granddaughter is gonna have to be tired in the morning now again folks this isn't something that was filmed just and discovered it later off of film like oh there it is this is something that was filmed live they saw it with their own eyes right. they looked at it right yeah. so let's remember to be respectful of that yeah um with your comments um i, uh, I wish i could freeze frame that i can't 
freeze frame it. But what I can do real quick is, um, Chris, you want to take over? Give me one second here to work out something. Yeah, go ahead. The uh, what I thought, what I found about it when I first started watching the clip, Jay, I was looking at center screen and actually Maddie did not have it center screen. You know, it's just right. just below it. But you know, she's holding the phone. I can I totally relate to that. You're holding a phone, and uh, you know, and, and, and she's she's also looking, um, right. trying to hold it center, but looking with her with her own eyes. Yeah, and, and, and believe you me, um, you know. When I posted this that day of just, I, I posted about a three second clip of it because I knew nobody would get it. Everybody would want to see the the red circles, and everybody yeah. would want to, us to point it out. That we would point it out no. and say it, it's 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 a blob squash. It is nothing. No. It's trees. It's and the thing is, you can't take away what what we saw or what you saw. You know, well, or see, what you saw there. It was clear as day what I saw. Yeah. Like just seeing that. Yeah. That version of. I don't know what like, Steve does, but whenever he like uh, enhances. And again, I, I agree with anybody that says. Okay, I guess we're back, back now. <laughs> What's that? Are you gone? We, we, yeah, we, we, we're still on now. Yeah, uh, I think we just uh, clicked off there for a second. Steve's working on something in the background. Oh. But uh, w when I first started looking at the clip, I could see the, the tree with the two large black dots in it. And I'm thinking, right. that's a tree. You know, I mean, what, what's the deal about this? And uh, a few minutes later, uh, I'm, I look, start looking below it. And I'm like, oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Yeah. Uh, well, the you know, thing thought, is. At first, I thought Maddie may have just filmed a tree. And I'm like, oh, no, no, that's just a tree, dude. But, and, but, <laughs> but, but, but I guess when it comes down to it, right? Are we gonna? Oh yeah. See? Yep, I see it. Yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll use my pointer. You're looking at the eye right here. Is what you're looking at, and there's a shape of a head here, somewhere in there. Yep. Um, I can see the the difference of. Uh, what you were saying about the color. That's why I was saying when you enhance that, now I can see the separated part of that, that little bit. Uh, Eyes in the Woods just said, oh. <laughs> yeah, it's really tough to see, but the reason why it's tough to see on camera is one reason, but you're also looking at it with your naked eye. And right. And that's when you're like, oh, there is something there. So this, to me, is not like your typical person that says, oh, look what I found in this video, because they're just randomly taking pictures, you know. Right. right. And, and, they're, and they're always solid and lumbering through the woods, all these, you know. I mean, there's only been a, a handful of videos that I've seen. I, I, again, I don't know the validity. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, this, beat, this beats what Todd Standing puts it out there any day. <laughs> Look at you go. Madison Bachochin, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Look at that. I see it. Told you. It's right there. I know. I know. <laughs> I have to put on like my spectacles when I, you know, get down that far. So, but yeah. So, but she's seeing that at that angle. Mine would have been a little bit left of that tree on the more on the ground, a little bit more on the the foreground um people again, want to see people want to see the um original one real quick the color one um i don't have that zoomed in uh but i'll show it and if you guys want to keep talking you just all you have to do is just uh click your actually you know what i probably could do is well then it won't go full screen so let's just show the color one one more time i can't focus See it? Right there. Keep it on there. Right there, do you see it? Nope, just keep it on there. I'm, do you see the eye though? Yeah, just keep on it. Don't take it off of it. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. But I can't focus this thing. Like right there. 
see it? Right there. Keep it on there. Right there, do you see it? Nope, just keep it on there. I'm, do you see the eye though? Yeah, just keep on it. Don't take it off of it. Yeah. And, and again, right yeah, and again, the, the, big, the biggest thing people have to understand is, yeah, no, I did not see Patty walking away from us. What I saw was Harry Potter or Frodo, what looked like a distortion cloak move away from me, from what she saw. Again, I won't speak for you, but retell what you saw. What color? It was, was it? like a. It was like a gray. Yeah, like the, a, the color. Yeah, it was like a gray, like a. With an outline. Yeah, gray with an outline. And it was like. Flowing. See the the amazing thing about this is you can see that there is definitely a color differentiation. Right. It does not look like foliage to me in this, and I'm looking at it. <clears throat> the more I look at it, the more I'm intrigued by it. That I don't think this is this is just a uh, a piece of. Uh, Paradoxia there. Obviously, you're seeing it with your own eyes, so that definitely uh, takes some of it out. You're not interpreting necessarily what you're looking on the screen, but you're like, "Oh, there it is." Let me now. I'm going to get in there. Um, so, yeah. and as, as you had said, that she had seen it, and then you got the camera out to give to her, and you're like, "Don't take your eye off." Yeah. Right. I yeah. did not. I, mean, I, I guess maybe I listened to too many encounter reports where well, I, I knew that if I reached for my camera that it would be gone when I looked at it. So it was still there. It was still right. there. So I yeah. got my camera, looked up, it was gone. And I'm like, that's why I was like, Maddie, you beat on that. Don't take your eye off it. Don't blink. You know, so it's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. But yeah, good, good job on the enhancing. And that's what I'll do, too, is I'll work up a, uh, a hopefully if I can. Uh, I, I got to figure out how to do this in my my one editor, but uh, there is a uh, I, I see if I can't put it to negative and change it that way. Yeah, yeah. Chris, you want to hang on one quick second? Yeah, go ahead, man. Take over. Let me see what I can. Let's see if I can't work some quick magic. Because once you have that base film, it it works out really well. Yeah. So, so uh, go ahead. Yeah. Keep on. Mike says he would like to see a negative color version. That would be good. <laughs> yeah. Well, but again, Chris, what I was saying is when I posted this um, originally, I knew I knew it, it would get that type of feedback. So I posted about three seconds, if that, of when I did my whole 21-minute video right. leading up to it in the interviews and that, because I knew that's what it would be. And I, I guess I've still never been the one I'm going to try to prove to the world Bigfoot exists. Because I know it exists. I just don't, I really just don't know what it is. That's the have y'all Have y'all done a return trip, Jay, yet to the same area to get a... No, uh, not yet. We were going to do okay. it this weekend, but... Uh, okay. You know, well, that would be a good a I, good thing to plan. Yes. Uh, you want to do, do a return trip to that same area. At the and same get time. The, get the yeah, same and lighting. see if you can get uh, the same angle of the camera and film. That way you can go back and compare... Well, this is what it looks like today. This is what it looked like then, you know. Right. Yep. No, we're definitely going to do that for sure. What yeah. show do you know that we can do live video editing right <laughs> on the? Uh... Steve, he's like doing his editing while he's like, well, it's live. We're watching you live while you do your enhanced well, video edits. So what we'll do is this. Uh, Mike wants to know, is Jay, is this the same location you got the movement in the trees with Blake a few years ago we looked at? That's Mike from Tactical Bigfoot Research. Uh, yeah, and Mike, um, I can say that I've been in two different areas. One was um, Area X, and this was our Area Q. Um it, 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 they're they're close by, by uh, by within like a two mile radius of what I showed you with the movement with Blake. Um, so that would have been a little bit north of where we're at by about two miles. But to me, two miles in these woods is nothing. So we're in the same area. 
And Quick Witty says, did I hear cloaking? I don't think Jay's saying it's, it was cloaking. You're just saying you saw like a distortion, wasn't it, Jay? Yeah, now the thing is, okay, let's see if I can. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if, no, if I can relate that because I've thought about this. You know, is it Star Trek's Klingon Bird of Prey cloaking? Yeah. Like that it was solid and it wouldn't do a cloaking or the Predator being solid than cloaking? Um, that's what I would think cloaking is cloaked th that's even harder too because i can't say that it went to this stage and it's going to come out of the stage a uh, hundred percent camouflaged that makes it look like there's something there that's always a possibility but you know the odd thing is have you ever had those weird things in your eyes the floaties oh yeah look at something you everybody's see everybody's had that sometime yeah okay Right, we should all see a doctor. If, you know that happens, but <laughs> but I, I don't play a doctor just on TV. Um, but it it almost moved like that, which had a um, when I say a distortion, again, just look at Harry Potter throwing a cloak over him and and, and how it kind of moves. You can kind of see the background and the outline of it, and that's what I saw. So I can't say whatever it was cloaked into this and it's going to uncloak or I, I don't know. I, I'm just explaining the way it looked. And when I, whenever I think of cloaking, honestly, I always think of technology like the Klingons with their ship or, yeah. you know, or uh, the predator, you know, it was all um, electronic or whatever. But I feel like if these things are out in the woods, they really don't have that capability. Um, are they, how are they doing it? You know, Okay, so my one editor will not turn it into a negative. I'm trying my other editors. So this may use a little resource on my computer, but. Faster Man says, Maddie, have you ever considered your dad is using you as Bigfoot bait? I'm thinking we need to call child services. You know, you know, you know it's funny. <laughs> it, it, well, what's really funny about that is after my first documentary came out, and I had Blake and McKenna out there. Oh man, I got reamed on Amazon Prime for comments that, you know, if, if you were my husband and those were my kids, you would not be allowed 10 feet from them. And they're thinking <laughs> I'm doing this. And I'm like, no, basically, I'm still trying to take my kids out um, right. uh, to, to experience nature, not to be afraid of nature, yeah. uh, to learn about safety uh, while you're in the woods. I just like to pass that along. Yeah. You know? And I don't think I'm considered a child. Yeah, how old, how old are you? 32. 32. So, 32. Grown adult. Mm -hmm. Mom of her own. I wouldn't bring my child. I think See, the she wouldn't bring her child. Did you hear that? Yeah. She wouldn't bring her child out there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, I... 2010, the first sighting I had was with, had my son with me and he was five years old at the time. And, uh, I didn't take him back over there in that area anymore. <laughs> I, I'm honestly, sorry. I'm, I'm the same way when I had that experience with McKenna when she was five, honestly, we went on the shortest hike ever. She has little legs. It was a little hike, right? For 45 minutes just walking back she's skating around on the ground on the uh frozen ice like ice skating yep. and i see that <laughs> auburn shape to my right because this was in february caught my eye because it stood out like a sore thumb looked over at it couldn't tell what shape it was um and it moved beyond lightning fast to uh all the way to my left and i almost want to say like a blur that's yeah. one of the things I always want to talk about is on, on how fast what that was moved. Now, I felt like I don't care how many AKs I was double wielding at the time. <laughs> you know, if uh, if this thing was that fast and it wanted to get me or my child, hundred percent. Right. You know that that's where you know you got mother goose, father hen, father rooster. 
right? Well, anyway, so where where it's like I'm going to protect my kids, and when I do go out there, and I do that because there are bobcats, you know, yeah. out in the kettle moraine, there are cougars out there, uh, right. there's the rogue black bear. So, you know, but I, again, I go by safety first, and I don't want people telling me I can't take my kids in the woods. That's right. That's right. Because I'm using them as bait for Bigfoot. You know, that just, yeah, it, it ain't cool. It ain't cool. <coughs> so the oh. best I can do is take that picture we got and yeah. blew it up and put it into the negative. Because I can do it with a photo editor pretty easy. So that's, that's, the, yeah. Yeah, that's the image back there. Right it's like a body. <coughs> Arms. Right. Yeah. See, that, and I kind of saw that a little bit. And I was seeing the other, the other enhanced wow. one. And that's obviously. Uh, I just like. I think the original film is better. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. Steve. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Oh, you can see like. A head. No, but what I, what I like seeing is in your 100 percent right. You've got to try it in all these different. Yeah. You yeah. know, no, filters no, to be no able to see what 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 jumps out, what doesn't. And again, it's and there is in case you're wondering. There's your eye. So, again, yeah. this is, you know, the top of the head, allegedly. And, the, you know, I don't know if that's a chin, but I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's hard yeah. to... Uh, it, almost looks like, it almost looks like those evil hand thing from uh, the Beatles, Yellow Submarine. I'm dating myself because that was an old cartoon. Well, but yeah, that's uh, that's crazy. Yeah. But again, if we were just gonna send this to you without anything, without her seeing it, that's I guess that's what I'm saying is whether people look at it, believe it or not, it is what it is, you know. Oh well, well watching the video after I watched it a time or two, I could definitely pick it out. Yeah, it's, it's not didn't need any you know red circles. <laughs> It's just uh, once you realize where you need to be looking, uh, it, it, it it pops out pretty good. Yeah. So I, I think maybe she's a magnet. Uh, or no, it doesn't really have a, a flat top head. I'm, I'm just, uh, yeah, I mean, is that a no, top hair? Is that, who knows? But uh, I, I see know. a little separation above the eye where there's a different white above, yeah. So it's not that complete flat top. I can see it in there, the difference in um, like shape. Sh shape. Even, yeah, even the shape. So. Awesome. Yeah. Yep. And folks, we're not looking at this over here. That is not an alien. Oh. No, that's an alien. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, when Manny was first telling me about it, I'm like, Oh wow, that alien! And all of a sudden, I saw all the different knots going all the way up the tree. I'm like, well, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, that's yeah. why. See, I was I was focusing on. I was I was thinking that was, she was seeing the the tree with the knots. And I thought, well, okay, yeah, you could kind of paradoil you that into a face right. there, but uh, that's not a bigfoot. Then I started looking around. And I said, oh, <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. And again, if it, if it wasn't for the jumping. Bigfoot that yeah. went from tree to tree, we would never no, have been down, never. never been down there. And and at that point, when she sees it again, from that point looking down, you know, to that tree line, I wouldn't have seen what I saw because we're not doing anything except staring at the woods. Yeah, you know. So that's our story, and we're sticking to it one hundred percent. Well, you know, regardless, Jay, I like it. I like it. I really do. All right, that's good. Here we go. Now she's yeah. got to go for real. Yeah, I gotta go. So for say real. bye to the folks. Bye, everybody. Bye, Steve. Hey, Take care, Maddie. It was great meeting you, by the way. It was nice meeting you too. And, and, have, and the next time your old man's at a, a a place I am, make sure he drags you along. Okay. All right. All right. We'll do. Plan we'll plan it. We'll do it. I'm down. All right. Six a.m. Four a.m. Four a.m. <laughs> Killing me. <laughs> but okay right. thanks man you're welcome all right she's really going she just yeah. wanted to yeah. stick around a little I, longer because she was excited
yeah, she she heard her video be, being played again, and then she came to see the uh, what you did the um, enhancements. So it's really cool. Well, I think there's only going to be so much that Steve's going to be able to do that because once you start blowing it up that big, then you start getting start pixelated. And- well, you know, it, it's funny because even on the iPhone, when I yeah. show Maddie, she's like, it's right there. And then I would do that on the phone. And she goes, yeah. you can't go in that close because it, the pixels are just getting distorted. Yeah. And it really could be anything. So yeah. it, it's a perspective. You know, I, out- I, I look at it from this aspect. Um. Had it not, you know, if somebody had come up and said, hey, I got this in a photo. I was out taking, you know, videos and this is what I got. You didn't see it? No. I'd have a, I'd have a problem with that. That's saying, well, you're, right. this could be pareidolia. Right. You're 100%. But there, there's a sighting. And then a little while later, boom, there's a naked eye sighting going there. There it is. Like, I, I can see it. Give me the camera. And the camera reinforces what's being seen with the naked eye. Right. So. Yeah. No, that, that's what I'm saying is after this happened and, you know, I, I went back and checked the footage right away when we got the car and everything. And I was like, oh, man, it's no Patterson film. It's no, the, you know, this is even worth showing. This is going to be a, you know, um, I always call it a stand by me moment, you know, to where you're you're together. You saw it wasn't really recorded. Um, I'm just saying and just chalk it up to we saw and we had experience. All three of us can collaborate with that. And that's the way I really wanted it to be because you're right. If I tried to push that, that any of those pictures out, no, I'm a crackpot. You know, it just, it's paradox. Well, it's, in, it's important to document the sighting, though, Jay. And I think oh, y- y- y'all, y'all all did a great job and, because and, you, you and, never know. That thing could have sc- turned and screamed at you or something. You, know, you would have had it right there. So. I was waiting. Yeah. <laughs> I really was. I'm like, come on. Don't take it off. In fact, I didn't tell Maddie to ever put it down. She recorded about yeah. five minutes, maybe, maybe a little under five. And then she's walking down by me. I'm like, why did you take the camera off? you got to keep it on until this thing is full. I want to see this thing move or whatever. But um, so maybe it did immediately or she she did or, or you could lose it because, again, she was zooming in. And when you're looking at it like Steve, like you said, you have to blink. So, so Jay, there is a there is a question in the chat. You know, you did try to approach it, yes. Yes. Okay. Explain. Explain what happened. We tried to approach it. Okay. And I'm joking. Uh, I will elaborate on that. Um, and I didn't mean to make fun of that. It was just it seemed like it was the right uh, thing to say is that we were walking up, um, getting closer to the tree line, and and I, I wasn't right on the tree line when I saw it, but as we're walking up to it, is when Ben came down, and he he was silent the whole time. He was observing everything, and he he came down and said, "I you know what he said. I saw it, and I said what you guys are talking about is something." And at that point, we were so close to the tree line that and it's so hard to explain. We get detoured if that's a word to where you're going to go out and uh actually start to walk in there but mm-hmm. something prohibited and it's happened to me several times to where i look back at the video going why didn't you just stay why didn't you walk back there why didn't you look for prints um you know why didn't you stay and observe more and i, I can't explain those you know it's not a lack of laziness or anything we were right there but we never did get into the tree line to where this was at. We were just talking about and observing from that that area. So yeah, we did. Long story short, we did approach up to the tree line, but we never went further into the tree line. That's my best honest answer. Okay, a uh, question. Uh, Don asked, did you guys find any tracks? No, I I have I have definitely um, captured several tracks in this area over the past um, 10 years, or I'm going to say over the past seven years, uh, nothing from that day. And we were looking though. Okay. And next question is from Raptor crazy. Hello, Raptor crazy is snuck in late. Uh, what cell phone was mistaken on? Was this taken on? I assume is what the autocorrect. Uh, did. Uh, it was an I, 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 iPhone 13. 
And when was it recorded? Just Trevor. So it's, okay. It was recorded on, I get in trouble with dates here. Oh, we can uh, go Saturday. We, we can go, go Saturday. We can go yesterday. I know that Friday that was the 13th. And I guess. I, 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 and uh, not, when was the record? And it was oh, after, I, it was after Maddie had seen it with her naked eye for the second time. And yes. So that would have right. been right around. And, and if I, if I look at the, the metadata on it, it's 821 or 822. Oh yeah. Right. Raptors. What year was it? It, it, it was 2023. Yeah, it was a week. It was less oh, than eight week. days ago. Eight days ago. Eight days ago. Well, Jay, I want to know, did you experience any ear discomfort or feel any creeped out feelings or anything of any type? When I was down there, I did have that uneasy feeling. Mm. And, and again, I, I've been out in this kettle at midnight, and I, it feels like I'm sitting on my couch in my living room comfortable. And there was times that it was this, like the morning like this, to where I just had, and I don't know if it was a, just a, a washed feeling, because I was feeling that pretty much all morning. And again, I tried to put it out saying, okay, you're in the woods. You're trying to document his big foot out here. Are we being watched? Um, and that's why I do have a couple of people with me is you, you just, you know, different people feel different things. And I remember before any of this happened, um, no, we didn't really have any feelings. When we went down there, I don't think I did either. You know, Maddie's telling me what she saw and we interviewed her and everything. But after I saw what I saw, I got that, okay, you know, that uh, kind of a weird feeling. But the further we got closer to that tree line, yeah, I would probably say the more uh, creep factor it had. You know, not well, after I was scared or, you know, I'm going to run and, you know, because my nephew and my daughter already said if they have to run, they're tripping me first because I'm older and they're going to take <laughs> off. But um, you know, at that point it was still, uh, it didn't feel right. That's uh, the only way I can really put it. And maybe well, that's I, why we didn't go <coughs> look any further. Yeah. Now I know it's hard to, to think back and to it, but, uh, can you remember around approximately how long it was after the sighting to when y'all left? Like, uh, when you actually decided to leave the woods. Okay. Here's something weird that you just brought up. Wow. And I haven't really even thought about that since then. We were out there for over three and a half hours, which was nothing. But it felt like we were out there for like 40 minutes tops. And that it was really weird because we all had that sensation. And, you know, people sometimes say time flies when you're having fun. Um, you know, we're all doing this, but we're all. Uh, it's, 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 I don't want to say this gets woundacy because it does seem weird. Well, you know what it is. I, I can tell you, it's what it's a, a traumatic experience. Yeah, right. So you lose some of that time. You know, you're you're hyper focused on what happened, so you kind of forget. Wow, that that didn't seem so fast. Like when I'm like when I'm at work and I have a slow day, and the day just keeps dragging on. Yeah. But, but all of a sudden, boom, 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 boom. <clears throat> things start to happen real fast. Bang, 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 bang. Next thing you know, it day's over with. Like, what the hell happened? The day was dragging and it's over with already. You know, right. So, so you know, when things happen. Yeah, and that's now, pretty possible. But we all felt that, just to let you know. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> Quick Witty makes a good point. And, Jay, I'm going to give you a homework assignment. Okay is you need to go back there and take a film in the exact same spot again. Okay. Yep. We're going to do it. And just to double check, you know, oh. double check your work. Yep. And a hundred percent. Yeah. Like, like I, like I said, Maddie wanted to do this yesterday because there's a week and, apart. It worked yep. out with that, but we will. Um, but you know what I would do is, um, you know, also, if you want to, well, we can have you back on once you get that done and we can show, you know, even if you're on for a little bit, we can show that video to sure. Our, sure. Our, our viewers here because I know they're dying for it. And for those on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Audible, Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, you're going to want to come over to the channel here on YouTube and check out the video. Yeah, 100%. Um, the enhancement yeah, really. Do that. Yeah. Don't forget to inspect the tree bark of the trees near where the creature was sighted for loose hairs. Yeah, get in there and 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 and, <laughs> and really believe me, 
when, when I was asking Mandy about that, she's like, no, it is up there. And I'm like, how the hell am I going to Yep, yep. And, and that that goes without saying, too, is have a person stand where the alleged Sasquatch ah, was. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. You know, oh, well, yeah. yeah. And well, like I said, um, we're, we're definitely going to. Good job for chum. What's this? <laughs> good job for chum. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. We did we did that with Brandon, Steve, and Brandon standing over there by the tree. And I was like, "Where are you at?" And he holds his hat up in the air. And uh, okay, yeah, we can do that. Uh, yeah, Brandon, airplane. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that video. Um, Daniel Weeks asked if we could talk about optical versus digital. Well, there there's two types of zoom on Ooh. cameras. There's optical and digital. Obviously, when you have a, you know, a phone, um, in case people wondering, my screensaver is a Bigfoot. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, it's on Steve's phone. Uh, you know, one of the things you want to do is, oh, and, uh, is a little reminder from Mike, take the UV light with you. Mm. Yep. Um well, I want all these these equipment people to walk around with me because I only have two hands. You know, you got all this stuff, and it's like, oh, you can even take an, you know, use a like a K two or something just to see if there's right. some sort of field spike. Right? How do you how do you do it all? How do you get all that? In that very, split second. very carefully. <laughs> right. um, so anyway, um, uh the uh digital zoom uh uses the can basically what it does is it just opens it up in the screen it, it just it doesn't whereas an optical zoom focuses the lens it changes the lens parameters to uh shoot further using optically and an optical zoom is much more clear than a a digital zoom yeah. uh just take for example if Jay had one of those SLR cameras and had the optical zoom on it. Those are the ones with yeah. the lenses where you can change it and zoom it in. You That's an optical that lens. Right in, yeah. Right. That's an optical lens. And um and and of course, uh I volunteer to go with you, Jay. <laughs> Come on down. You guys are invited. Mike <laughs> Mike said he'll be out and uh carry a sling bag, too. Yeah. Yeah. I do. I carry a sling bag. Yes, I do as well. Yeah. 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 It's a satchel. Um, is that what I have? European but, man bag? Yeah, I know, right? The Merce. When I, when I, when I bought it, when I actually when I bought <laughs> the this. I got it the there we go. Anyway, I got there the there is your official official. Um, digital, zoom. digital zoom makes yeah. pixels bigger. Optical zoom is actually using a focal length lens. Yeah. Go with the lens. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the satchels are good. And I've seen some of those little uh, lenses you can get, like a telephoto lens yes, you can you clip can, over an iPhone. Yes, I was right. wondering about those. I'm thinking about maybe uh, going on Scamazon and checking some of those out. Yeah. I mean, and the thing is, that which is good, it's like I actually have a couple body cameras. But I, I used to put one on the back of my backpack. You know, just I just started having them everywhere, and I'm like, I don't know. I, I got to a point where I'm like, am I trying to prove this to to the world? No, everyone's got their opinion already. And that's that's how come one of my my big things is hey, you want to know what it is? Go out and discover for yourself. Period. Yeah. That's all I gotta say. Find your truth yourself. Don't allow just you know somebody telling you that. But that's how I approach it. Other people want to prove it to the world. Oh, Mike, yep. and, uh, Mike said the clip-ons work. Clip-ons do work. Unfortunately, right. the um, uh, this well, kind of the, phone, I can't, I can't necessarily the, use it with this phone. But the iPhones have super cameras. I mean, they're awesome. Uh, I've got a, like an old, it's the antique now, iPhone Seven, but I can shoot 4K video with that thing, you know. And it's just like, oh wow, it's so clear. But now, if I start zooming it in, like trying to uh, yeah, video you. something way off now. <laughs> no, I just think Chris, the 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 cameras do get better and better as the versions go on. But yeah. some of these Samsungs out there just whoa, whoa. you know. I yeah. mean, 
I've always been an iPhone guy, but you know, that's just my preference. But some yeah. of these other phones out there can zoom the freaking moon, right. you know, to where you can actually see the flag up there. Right. Not maybe that, but pretty close. So anyway, uh, yeah. you know, we might as well start wrapping up. Uh, yeah. I think you beat this one to death pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> I appreciate it. And thanks for having <laughs> I'm just saying, yeah. thanks for having me on with this and with Maddie, because that really helps her as well, uh, you know, going into this, you know, of, of yeah. saying, I, this is what I saw, Dad. This is what I recorded, Dad. Can you see it? You know, it's almost that cry for, believe me, I'm not crazy. You know, that's how she is. So. Yep. Well, I really enjoyed it, and I really like it. I really do. Well, thank you. All right. If I didn't, I'd tell you. But uh, I, I see, I'm, I'm really and interested in that footage. Steve would, Steve, would, Steve would play the flushing sound as soon as Maddie sat down. <laughs> what we can do the video. <laughs> you that know, I mean. Maddie's shortest 15 seconds of fame. Bye, man. Oh. Even if you got... Yeah, right. <laughs> Even if you got the clearest footage exactly. ever obtained, it's not going to prove nothing. You, nope. You're going to prove that, hey, I saw this. Now, what that is, I don't know. I can't right. say. I think it's this, but, you know. Yeah. But uh, it, it really feels, uh, I, I, I think it, it helps you feel vindicated when uh, you can leave the forest and you've got something recorded. Chevy uh, said that she stayed awake for the whole show. Well, she better have. <laughs> she slept all day. Yay. I'm oh, just kidding. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I think that, you know, uh, usually, like I said, I've always said that when somebody has a visual sighting and they have something, and in this case, and how many times have you gone out there, Jay, and come back with nothing? So. I felt this was worth putting it out there and well, you know, we have a very skeptical crew and I appreciate that. Yeah. And I want them to keep being skeptical and yes. coming up with the ideas. And I know some people aren't going to see it. Some people will. Um, right. But you know, is this evidence? No, it's not going to prove Bigfoot exists, but it's something fun to look at something interesting to look at. And um, I, I see no harm in it whatsoever by saying, you know, especially with the eyewitness report, this isn't something like, oh, I was just randomly taking pictures of woods. There's no story right. behind right. the film. Yeah. There's right. no story, but here there's a whole story. <laughs> so, you know, if it's a Bigfoot or not, uh, who knows? Um, but you're going to, you know, obviously we've given you some suggestions to go out there and do some due diligence and and uh, investigate further and get your butt back out there in the kettle to check it out. Absolutely. Um, so I think that's really, really cool. And um, I'm going to show you some some very interesting things about how um, video, uh, how pictures can fool you. And trying to uh, let me pull this picture. Oop, wrong one. Sorry. So you know, hang on a second. Wrong button. Wrong file. So. Um, let's see. So. We've been looking at a series of pictures uh, on my trail cam project, and there we have this picture. What's in that picture? A fox. Very good. I see it. See his tail? He's walking away. Um, what do you think, Chris? Is that a coyote? <laughs> Okay. I can't can't hardly so make it. So I I figured it was a fox because the tail is black. Yeah, right. it, it black. may be. It, yeah. bush, it kind of looks like a bushy black tail. Yeah. Bush. Now what happened was several days later. I get that picture. Ah. There he is. Looking yeah. around. Right. And he right now he's looking into my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably watching you through the window yeah but i must say i was blessed and i set another my second camera up and yeah ah, there he is there's a she 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 yep so a lot of fun uh, using yeah. the um 
using these cameras. And, and this is the standard definition version. I can't wait to pull the card and get the high oh. definition. Oh my goodness. That's SD. Uh, and, and, and no, that is a red Fox. Cause I've actually seen her sitting yeah. up on the Hill one morning. Um, definitely a red Fox. I, you know, like I saw the, you know, nice bright red there one day, just yeah. Yeah. actually she was sitting probably about four or five feet to the right of this picture actually looking into the backyard again like she was in that uh um now my neighbor says he hears some kits every once in a while crying so hmm. well, you know that the trail cam out here you'd get a lot of coyotes not very many foxes but a lot of coyotes but now, she is pretty i love seeing yeah. wildlife like that now i wonder i wonder if he's looking for this guy oh yes. yeah that rabbit's dead already. No, he's <laughs> he's doing pretty good. He's oh, doing he still out there. Good. Yeah, he's still out there. I, I every night that's um, oh. um. But here was a real cool daytime picture. Um, let's see if I can pull the right one up here. Oh yeah, a cardinal, and a female cardinal, which is right there. Yeah, look at that. Blend right in. Just like those damn Sasquatch. So, and who else do we have here? Um, blue jay and squirrel. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah double right. double action there. Yeah, that's cool. That's a beautiful bird, but they're mean. Yeah, they are. Or Jay, Jay, is that Blue Jay or? Blue yeah. Jay, yeah. yeah. It's like a Blue Jay, yeah. I was going to say, is it a Blue Jay or a Jay bird? But I, I forget that's my nickname. <laughs> <laughs> it's so. a Jay bird. Three rat. <laughs> I love squirrels. Nice. I'll have to come visit. When I visit Steve, I'll have to remember to bring my shotgun. We'll have some squirrel stew. Or the squirrel's my buddy, as is the rabbit uh, and the fox. They're all my buddies. Well, you know, you know I was like, raised on a farm. Are you like and... Snow White out there? Who's gonna just sing and put your arms out? And they're just gonna land on you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I can't. Steve wait. goes I... out in in the woods, and then the animals yeah. just come to him. Yeah, <sighs> come to me, jungle friends. Doctor Doolittle. Well, you know, years ago, I worked on a federal reservation. And uh, right outside the center, they had uh, some fox kits that were walking around. And I used to stand out there, and they actually used to come right up to me and, like, very gingerly sniff my shoes and run back into the woods. And, um, yeah, they, they're they cool. Uh, fox kits can be very friendly at times. So we'll see if they uh, make an appearance. No, sure. Did you ever see, you ever see this uh, TikTok? Uh-oh. Where... Chris just froze up. Oh no, Chris! Come back, Chris! Oh, uh, it's I that heard, Kentucky internet. I heard a honk. Oh, I'm dis disconnected. I think Sherry disconnected me. Oh, there you are. You're back. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You had an internet burp because you came in when you first came in. You were a little bit grainy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, Sherry. No, I, I was just joking. I would not shoot your pet squirrel. No. Yeah, and. Uh, Jay, uh, Mike is still, Jay, when you go back out, try the 3D scan location if you can. And there's apps. You know, there's some apps for the iPhone. Ooh. Yeah, definitely a, um, a, any type of apps or anything like that. Go ahead and message me, um, you know, what you guys are using or what I can look at. Because I, you know, I figure if you guys are kind of field testing them and they're working for you, I'd love to see what's out there. So, so, okay. Well, um, yeah, a few program notes again, tomorrow, you'll probably be looking at another Bigfoot laugh track tomorrow morning at some point, Sweet. So maybe tomorrow afternoon, another parody. We don't know if, uh, the professor will show up or not, but, uh, we, we shall see. Um, I hope not. He always leaves a mess when he's here. It's horrible. <laughs> um, I, you know, like I say, when, when I know he's coming over, I have to put the newspaper down on the ground and, you know, mm. just in case. 
Um, you know, he forgot his depends or something that day. Um, anyway, uh, uh, and we, like I said, we have this uh, pretty uh, interesting thing that, that came up. So we're going to have a follow-up on one of our exposés, exposés we did uh, a couple of years ago, um, actually. And it was really cool doing this on Squatch DTV as well. So uh, uh, we're not going to release it just yet of what the episode was, but we even got more breaking news to prove that a hoax was a hoax was a hoax. And, um, you know, uh, so anyway, um, final words, Jay. Final words. Well, I just want anybody who uh, hasn't seen my two films just to take a look at them. They're both on, um, actually, they're both streaming on Amazon Prime. You can find them now on um, Paraflix Plus, where they have a lot of great content there. But uh, only, you know, I always say it's not for the money because it doesn't pay anything. I'm not moving to Hawaii. Well, why would I move there? Uh, it doesn't pay that. I, I just want people to see, I guess, what's happening to me here in Wisconsin and to be able to just say it like it is and this is the truth. But anyway, you can find that. You can find me at jbachochin.com and uh, check me out on any of my uh, and the titles are uh, Finding J and the second one that just came out this year, last year, Beyond the Kettle, Finding J2. So that was really good, too. <laughs> thank you. The second one, uh, yeah, was just over the top. I, I really well, thank it. you. And so I know I, find, I keep raising the bar. And to find your complete. Uh, breakdown of this whole 20 minute journey. Uh, well, uh, this whole journey you took eight days ago is on YouTube as well. Uh, just yeah. uh, his YouTube channel is Jay Bachochin. Um, yeah. uh, really hard to find. Uh, so, <laughs> and again, many- I pre- honestly, thank you again, Steve, for yeah. having me on. And not only that, but to be able to break that down um, for my daughter and having my daughter on here because that. I think that meant a lot to her to be able to explain what she saw. Or, Definitely you know, builds confidence too. And, and yeah, being in front of people, being able to discuss this as well as kind of a, a yeah. you know, kind of a, a stress releaser as well. So. Exactly. So I want to thank you guys both. So I really appreciate it. Well, we love having you on Jay, of course, always. Thank you, Jay. Well, thank you. And uh, Chris, final words for the evening. Yeah. Right. Once again, appreciate Jay being on here. And Maddie enjoyed meeting her. She was a great guest. Jay's always a great guest. <laughs> always love having him on. Well, uh, thanks. First time you're watching uh, on YouTube, uh, please uh, subscribe, like, uh, share the channel out. You know, it helps us with the search algorithm. I want to thank to all of our listeners in chat. We appreciate you guys. And uh, it, it's all about you. You guys make the show. Thank you so much. We're very honored to have you. We sure do. We love you guys. And if you're subscribing, hit that notification bell. If you don't want to, if you don't want the sometimes periodic YouTube notifications, because sometimes they don't always go out. Um, you can always go over to squatchdetective.tv and uh, that's the you can find all the videos that are here on YouTube on that specific channel. They auto update. So the minute something gets released, it updates to squatchdetective.tv. And you can also subscribe to get an email notification for shows and video drops. So we appreciate you if you go over there and give that a look. But uh, as far as me, again, uh, great audience. Uh, I like your skepticism. Don't get me wrong. If I, if I, you know, uh, you know, a discussion is a wonderful thing. There's no, never a hard feeling made about any of our beliefs or anything like that. Um, you know, the only thing we don't like sometimes is people being so certain things are certain. Um, like Bigfoot's a Nephilim, um, you know, and they will sit there and insist. Um, no, everything is open for discussion here. Um, so anyway, uh, again, we love you guys. Uh, love your critical thinking skills. Love your your uh, input and love your advice. So we appreciate that you guys make the show just as much as Chris and I do and our guests. So um, again, uh, we'll be back here next Sunday night at a time 9 p.m. Eastern 
And uh, everybody, have a great week. Stay healthy. God bless Jay. Stay for uh, stay in the chat for a second. Don't uh, don't don't pop out yet. Take we'll off. see you on the on the flip side when we're done broadcasting. So again, everybody, have a great week. Stay healthy. God bless and uh, keep on squatching. We'll see you all next week, Sunday night, 9 p.m. Eastern here on Squatch D TV. Hey, folks, you've been watching Squatch D TV. Join us each week, Sunday night at 9 p.m. Eastern for the latest on the Bigfoot mystery. As always, we thank you for being our loyal viewers and encourage all to subscribe to our YouTube page at youtube.com slash Steve Culls. As always, have a great week. Stay safe. God bless and keep on squatching.